for one. Dear brothers and sisters, a very, very happy new year to all of you. Happy new year. We welcome 2010. We welcome 2010. Uh, we hope Swami, I'm sure Swami Bhagwan blesses all of us to have a very happy and prosperous life, a uh, prosperous year ahead. With better experiences and greater impressionable ones for us to cherish. Uh, uh, we like to take this opportunity, especially uh, our guests from Aditya Home for being here with us. Annually, every year we are here. We thank you for sharing your love with us. Thank you so much. The people who took a lot of time to organize this, especially uh, uh, the Kogan, CD, and a few others, uh, uh, a lot of all the other parents. You saw the, you know, the artwork that you saw. In, uh, it was amazing. It's almost like a. The whole thing looked like snow cap, and the presentations are so brilliant that we were making a comment that if you all are up to it, then we will ask the church father on uh, on, on a Sunday, not maybe this Sunday, but any one of the Sundays to make this presentation in a formal church uh, presentation. And the father uh, would definitely agree because the, st the standards are good enough for that particular thing. So I think this is something that we should be, and also we have our own AR Raman also now, music and keyboard and all that. <laughs> so we can do that. <laughs> so that's fantastic, okay, that we like to uh, uh, express our appreciation. Also the fact that a lot of parents in the last two, three days, you all, some of you did not see, they were all here painting and uh, doing that. So we like to also thank you, such a nice community feeling. The fact that all of you stayed behind until 12 o'clock. While the whole city, today if you sit outside, you can see that the whole city and the sky is uh, blazing with fireworks. And the whole sky is lighted up. And I'm sure if you go downtown right now, very many people will not be so much high in spirituality, <laughs> but will be high in spirits. Uh, and, uh, and literally, this will be, the whole world will be like this, swimming in all the happy new year, and all that. And tomorrow morning, they'll be wondering what they did the previous <laughs> night, and they'll have to go through two days of hangover to go overcome that particular thing. But today, whilst the world celebrates like that, what we have done in a very amazing manner, yeah, this is something, uh, and it's not happening everywhere, but it is happening to a good group of people where we are suddenly becoming very conscious. And we want to use this time so sacredly to usher in the golden year, golden year with positive vibrations of peace and love so that the world becomes a better place. Baba once said, I don't want you to be like firecrackers full of noise and sound. I want you to be like fireworks where the colors will blaze in the sky and the people must look up and see those colors. It's not those fireworks that we're talking about, but it's the fireworks of what we are saying is that if you are students this year, if you are students, then this tonight we must make that resolution. This year, next year, I will work harder. Swami once said that in those of you, you can have everything, but if you do not earn the love of your parents, how can you learn, earn the love of God? On the, if you cannot earn the love of parents, how can you earn the love of God? Baba once said. So this year, you must make one extra pledge. Make extra effort to reach out to your parents. That means tonight itself, if they are here, then fine. If they are not here, when you go back home, you call them up and wake them up and say, <laughs> <laughs> you will take them with your love. Okay. So that, <laughs> therefore, may I go that extra mile this one year. Because this year, next year is 85th birthday of one. What we are doing now is, 85th year, a very significant time. This is the period where 2010, uh, by the way, today those of you go back home, yeah, you reach home, then from 1 a.m. Uh, to 5 a.m. I'm told that there is this eclipse today. So you're not supposed to eat and drink or anything like that. Anyway, 1 to 5, normally people don't do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so today is not a special thing. So you don't really need to do 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. you reach home. Then you don't do, uh, get home, get back home and capture this vibration of peace so that when you reach back home, 
and take this vibration throughout the whole year to have the same feeling of serenity, this lights, the laughter, and the youth's uh, fun and project. Thank you. We'd like to thank all the youth, especially uh, the organizing uh, people who went through uh, of putting this very systematically and orderly and all that. One good, uh, one person, two people who we must thank is Ragan uh, and Matu. Remarkable uh, job of uh, coordinating and also all these people who did these decorations all we, I hope you leave it here so that we can still see it on Tuesday. Uh, except that on Tuesday we'll be having a small multimedia, so this little bit thing of but anyway, that's some technical arrangements, I'm sure. So, so we won't take too long. Once again, thank you. Uh, we thank every one of you for doing this. I think there's still a lot of food left. We still can eat before one a.m. So uh, <laughs> consume the food and thank you so much. And may uh shower his choices, blessings on all of us. And Swami only said one thing in one of the discourses. Swami said, if you have Tyaga in your heart and wear truth in your head and show love in your hands, I will be your charity. And when I will be your charity. I will be those of you who don't understand what he said, I will do it in slow motion. <laughs> if you have Tyaga in your heart, Tyaga, sacrifice, renunciation, sacrifice means you're not thinking of selfish, self, 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 thinking of others. If you have Tyaga in the heart and wear truth as a crown on your head and show love to others, I will be your charity, meaning I will be your driver. Your life. You don't have to have any other driver. I will drive your life. Can you imagine that he making choices for you? He making the decisions for you. So in other words, develop these three qualities. You don't even have to ask God. God will say, I will be your charity. You don't have to worry. That's a very powerful message that Swami gave in one of his discourses in Kodakana. So with those few words, once again, we'd like to thank everybody. And we rise for Arati. And the families will come together. Uh, and then we show Arati. Thank you.